Assalamu alaikum. Yaxshi yuribsizmi? Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of language talking and today I'm going to talk a little bit about motivation because I see this is a question and a problem of many language learners so I want to start with the question why I started learning Uzbek and then uh, that's why you've heard uh, Uzbek at the beginning you heard Uzbek at the beginning and uh, yeah so the, as I explained on my blog uh, I'll leave a link to the post uh, I started learning it because of one uh, teenager from America uh, oh my, I forgot his name uh, but you'll uh, find him easily uh, who learned a lot of languages in New York and he had the opportunity to use them so I started learning Uzbek because I was a little bit jealous of him having so many opportunities and the nearest opportunity for me like geographically was a Uzbek kebab so I went I decided to start learning Uzbek because I wanted to be able to talk with those guys in the um, native language which turned out uh, to be a little longer uh, journey so I can already order the kebab there but uh, this is not the thing that kept me uh, that made me uh, keep learning because actually in the kebab there is no time to talk with them they're very busy so except for things like hello uh, I'd like to have a kebab big one small one something like this uh, there is not mm, not much more room uh, for any kind of talk but I s kept learning on it because languages just interest me as they are so it's I find it as a challenge I find it interesting and that kept me on learning it so I'm still like somewhere at the very beginning of of the whole process but you know it's it's interesting and that's why I thought about motivation so many people have a great motivation at the beginning so they want to start uh, th so they start learning languages with this huge enthusiasm which then gets slower it gets slower lower and just disappears after sometimes even a very few lessons and why is it mm, I personally think this is because they have like a, not the best motivation so quite often we have a very utilitarian motivation uh, this means we need language for job uh, we need it for kind of career uh, or something like this this is not very specific goal to and we are used to immediate results so language obviously doesn't work like this so the immediate result is not there after a month of learning you're still a beginner and there are many other things that are like in short term more important than this particular lesson so not doing homework not learning on your own is like the the only choice what happens then is the fact that people are not interested in the language so there's nothing fascinating there and uh, there are other things that that are more obvious choices in the free time in for the work for for everything and here, here is the thing, you have to find something fascinating in the language that you learn. This, I think, this is the best motivation you can have. So imagine you're learning German because you find uh, Grimm fairy tales super interesting and you want to get there and you want to understand them and you like feel this, uh, this environment, this, this atmosphere. So every word uh, that you learn every sentence structure you can immediately relate to your to this thing that is so fascinating for you and you see it so it's easy also to remember it you see it in immediately in a context uh, it can be like in Polish it could be Vyajmin so the Witcher uh, so you want to read the books as they were written originally so you want to know it better and this is like your your passion your goal so every word you find you think oh maybe th this can be used this might be useful for the witcher of course it has this little 
uh, it brings this little problem that when you learn the words that are not useful for this purpose, uh, you might easier forget them. But overall, I think for for getting on with the language, this is this is really uh, helpful. And this is what I find also when I learn languages. So for uh, for Spanish, I have uh, the shade of a Carlos Luis Zafon book La Sombra del Viento. I want to read it. It's like somehow because there are books uh, at the beginning. There is an old bookshop. This this is something interesting for me. I want to get to the book and uh, and read it in Spanish. So that's why I find Spanish so attractive. Uh, I want to. I also like this green stuff. So German is also attractive because of it for me. And I find, of course, I find languages generally interesting. So I am also interested in grammar. So this is like. Uh, really helpful, you know. I want to learn it. I want to know how do you build such a structure, how do you express something that in English is done with past uh, past perfect, how do you do it in other languages. This is also interesting for me, so it's like very scholarly or academic stuff. But, uh, but then you, you find, for example, interesting stories. You find many, m maybe interesting people with whom you want to talk. So these are the things that I recommend finding when you want when it comes to learning languages and this is something that when found could be a guarantee of, a s of success in language learning so uh, don't waste your time on useful things in language like going to the restaurant and learning such stuff learn the things that are really interesting for you find your your passion in the language and follow this passion I can guarantee that it will it will change totally your approach to language learning even if you've so far you've been like very skeptical about this thank you for watching the video uh, if you liked it please subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up you can also visit my blog which is currently being a little bit changed but still there is something there uh, that might interest you. You can also uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and other social media that are there in the links below the, uh, the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!